and shine. Way good. And get to the bag, god damn it. Lord woke us up with my welcome in his bag. Now, it's the one and only Vince Allen the Prince. And I'm back. Another get to the bag podcast movie slash show review. Now we got a lot to talk about today. So Without further delay, let's get right to it. Quarantine USA, I don't know what day it is. I think it's what day seven. For some people, it may be, um, you know, day 12, day 13. But we're going to get right to it, all right? So, we'll be going over today. We'll be going over first this movie on Netflix, all right? Now, this movie is uh, pretty much brand new. Like, look at some of the information on it. So we're talking about the movie is called The Platform, okay? The Platform, and a little bit about this movie is it's a 2019 thriller slash fantasy, and it's based in the future where prisoners are held in a vertical cell and they watch as inmates in the upper cell feed on food as the food goes down floors from floor zero all the way to the lowest floor and there's a lot of floors like hundreds of floors now the base language of this is spanish but they got the english over uh voiceover so you know the vibes with that so let's get a little slideshow popping so you can see what it is looking like so this is what the platform is looking like and now this movie is interesting right so I can say this movie caught me by surprise. I just was like, hey, let me watch it and see what's going on, you know? So out of five stars, I got to say, this is definitely a solid four and a half for me. Um, and uh, Rotten Tomato gave it 84%. It's got about like a 7 out of 10 on IMD. Uh, D. Um, I mean, it's pretty much uh, 80% people like this movie. A lot of people pretty much liked it from what I... What I'm seeing on the reviews, uh, the initial release was uh, February 21st, 2020, uh, in Taiwan. Now, it did win some awards the Goya Award for Best Special Effects and the Gotti Award for Best Visual Effects. So, it got some awards. Um, the uh, director, Galder, oh man, I can't pronounce his last name, it's so exotic. <laughs> Uh, this dude, Gowder, um, he had a lot going on in this movie. It kind of throws you into what's going on with the main character. Okay? Now, the main character is interesting because unlike uh, other people that are in this prison, he voluntarily went in to get some sort of degree, to my understanding. Now, <laughs> I don't think they told him everything that had to entail of getting his degree because he goes into this this platform with all these levels and um quickly he realizes that it's not what uh everything seems to be now he has to do six months okay he has to do six months his name is goran in the actual movie he has to do six months and then he would get some type of degree diploma of some sort maybe like a, a doctor program <laughs> right now he's in there and while he's in there you know, he's uh, selling with this old guy, right? Now he's selling with this old guy, and the old guy, he's kind of creepy and eerie, but the old guy lets him know what the game is. Like, listen, the food comes from the top floor all the way down, and the food come down, and it's just all over the place, and he's like, oh, this is disgusting. We're just eating off all these people. He's like, boy, you better get in where you fit in. And uh, so he gets to eating, and then when he gets to eating, you know, he's like, damn. So this is what it is? He's like, yeah. And he's like, each month, they go to sleep and they wake up on a different floor. So that's the premise of the movie. And uh, so where they were at was a solid floor. And he was like, we better eat now because if we get in the lower floor, it's going to be different. Now, I'm not going to give it all the way away, but I will say this this movie is deep because it's more of a, I see it's like a social experiment they try to, to, to do to prove just how corrupt and greedy and just how far ourselves we are as human beings and at this time of crisis i think you know sit back it makes you think it's engaging definitely crazy the way the whole thing planned out and how it ended 
Um, that's why I'm giving it such a high rating, four and a half stars. Um, the only thing that wouldn't give me, that wouldn't really make this perfect five star for me is that, um, you know, there were, uh, there were elements of the movie that I think were great. You know, the special effects was cool. The premise was cool. I just would have liked to see a little bit more. I can say that there was an adequate action, but I would like to say maybe a little bit more action and a little bit more explaining because I feel like they had such a good plot. I feel like they could have elaborated even more with it. So that's a, that's one of my little critiques that I think would have took it over the top to be a, a solid five, five star. But uh, the platform definitely stamped my boy Vinciano the Prince. Okay, if you want something that's going make you think, if you want something that's going to make you um, feel like, you know, like, just, like, out of the norm, okay, kind of sci-fi, and that's going to make you, like, put a chill in your spine and make you think about what's going on in the world, the platform is definitely a good joint just for you, um, but something that's, uh, you know, it's... I wouldn't, you know, definitely want to watch with kids and nothing like that because it did definitely take it there. But, you know, at the age appropriate, of course, it's definitely, definitely lit. So the platform get a four, four and a half from your boy Vinciano Prince. Uh, one of the highest ratings I got so far. Um, I got about two, two other, two other shows that got just as high a rating, but we ain't doing those today. So I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, moving on to the next show, the next show, okay, and this show, I actually just finished binge watching, um, last night, and, uh, this is, um, this is an interesting show, it kind of came out of nowhere, right, and it, you know, Netflix has been dropping stuff crazy, like left and right, and, uh, so, this show, it's called, um, and this, uh, this is more family friendly. Everybody can watch it. It's called uh, A Letter for the King, right? Now, A Letter for the King, um, about 55% on Rotten Tomato, 5.9 on uh, IMDb. And um, I can honestly say this is new, you know, 2020 release. Um, it's, a, it's, added, it's a, adapted from The Letter from the King. Apparently, that was something else. Now, I'll give this, uh, it's about six episodes. I'll give this a good three and a half. I'll give it a good solid three and a half. Um, I give it a three and a half because um, it's definitely an interesting story, how they presented the information. You got a, a, a world where there's, a, of course, a king, and then um, you got some magic going on here. And then on top of that, you also got you know, a different aspect to to the show that you, you didn't see. Um, it's about a young man trying to become a knight, but kind of pushed to be a knight by a stepfather. And uh, here's a little picture for you. Drop some pictures. Uh, a letter for the king. Got a little, little, little baby Drake in there. Uh, <laughs> that's what I like to call him because he really looks like a teenage Drake, but like a pro. It's hilarious. Um, now the cast, the, the, the lead actor, his name is Amir Wilson. Um, I think he did a decent job. I think that, you know, they made him kind of soft in the beginning and he gradually gets stronger. I do think they could have gave him a little more confidence in, um, in what he was doing. Um, the main villain, uh, was a prince who basically is like a warmonger going, taking over territory. And it's a little, uh, eth ethnic uh, racial background stuff because um the lead character is from a country called uh Avi Island or something like that and where the countries he's from from what I understand that's where all the black people lived at and they just recently got conquered he was like one of the last and the black people that lived there they like had powers right and um I guess he's the son of a shaman so this prince is, uh, he's like doing what he's doing. He's taking over territories and he's got this evil power. He's trying to take away from the people that he just conquered for his father, the king. And while he's doing all that, 
this the main character trying to figure out who he is and, and his background. So you got a lot of different storylines going on there. And then on top of that, you know, you got some funny parts. I will say it did end a little cheesy. And and um, there's this one character, uh, I guess his co-stars is an uh, actress called Ruby uh, Sertz. And she did a decent job. It's just what they did with her character at the end, I felt like it was rushed. Didn't really make a lot of sense to me, and it was kind of just like, all right, let's, you know, they started off pretty decent, it got better, and then at the end, it was like, all right, let's wrap this up. <laughs> so, that's the vibes I got from A Letter from the King, so I gave it a three and a half, but you want something that's, you know, different, got a medieval feel to it with some magic, little fantasy world, and, um, you know, got a little baby Drake in there trying to find himself, then, you know, this is for you, this is for you, by like 84% of people like this show. On Google, I think it's a decent job. I think season two has some upside, and uh, it's gonna be cool. Um, but um, don't don't go in there with too high expectations. Like you know, like it's not super deep. You kind of can predict what's gonna happen. So you know, just enjoy what it is. Um, moving on to the next joint we got here. Uh, oh yeah, how could I forget? A letter from the king, officially stamped by your boy Vinciano Prince. Um, now on to the last, okay? The last one I got for you today, another TV show. Now, I literally, you know, this quarantine stuff is crazy, but I literally just finished this not too long ago. Like, this um, this series caught me by surprise. Now, you know me, you know Vince Young the Prince, you know that I like sci-fi stuff. I like, you know, stuff that's just outside the box. Almost every show on uh, Netflix that has to do with vampires or something like that. I didn't watch it or, or you know, or I'm going to watch it just to do a review on it. So, this one is called Vampires, right? right? And from what I understand, this is a show I believe the original language for this show is, uh, I think it's French. I think it's French. We're we, we going to fact check that. Um, and see, but I think it's French. I think it's another voiceover one. Um, you know, Netflix been dropping these these um, they've been dropping these shows. You know, these these international shows and these movies that I really think are kind of the crowning jewel of, of Netflix. Some of the other major releases they have are kind of subpar, but these uh, you know, these shows you don't hear about that just drop and. They, they're really uh, doing good. Um, from what I understand, uh, Vampires was just released, and it's too soon to know if there's going to be a season two. But I will say that from what I see, there is potential. So, drop a little pick Vampires. The lead actress, she uh, plays a, a, a little girl that's in, um, I guess she's like, 50, she's about to graduate high school. And um, she goes through a lot of different changes in her life. And her family is crazy because uh, that's her mom right there. Her mom, she's like a vampire, of course. And uh, she's like a hybrid. But she don't have no type of powers or nothing like that. She's like taking medicine to stop that from happening. Now, um, the mom got two other kids that apparently are also vampires. I, yeah, they're vampires, but they're like older and then she has another kid who's like the opening scene is like her bugging out with him at this like vampire lair going crazy because you know her husband goes missing and stuff like that. So it's about this family that's just all over the place, like living like you know, when you see vampires, we always think of oh you live forever, you blood, you're powerful, it's just you can do whatever you want. But this show really shows how the vampires are living and they're living crazy, like, you know, and there's a community they all have to be a part of, and if they're not a part of it, it's hard for them to just do anything, because they want to be exposed, and they're also not as strong as, you know, you see in the movie, they're just really people who drink blood, like, they got some extra strength, but it's not, oh, like, they're not overdoing it, like, they're not overdoing it, you know what I'm saying, nobody's flying or turn it into magic and stuff, how they be doing it on Dracula, but uh, the lead actress, she does a great job of making me believe in character now, she is like in her 20s, but she plays a high schooler, so you know, she switch, she switches it up, but um, this actress, I, I, she, I bought into it, you know, I liked what she brought to the table, 
you know, even though I didn't really watch it in the natural language. Um, I like what she brought to the table, and on top of that, uh, you know, she uh, she definitely is not an eyesore. Definitely very, very cute. And uh, I had to look up and see when she was born. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know normally they get older people for these high school kids, but I'm like, wait, let me see how old she is first before I start talking about this actress. And uh, I was like, oh, all right, 1996, I'm like, all right, cool, yeah, she, she, yeah, it's nice. So she definitely has some potential. I'm not going to lie. She definitely has some, um, she definitely has some potential. So I will say that, um, I will say that this, this vampire show, um, it gives you suspense, it gives you the horror, it gives you some background story. I like the background story with the vampires. They made it where it was more of a play. And then some people died and some people didn't. And those who did we just became vampires. I'm like, okay, that's a little more believable than um, how they normally do these things. So uh, I definitely appreciate that. So vampires is definitely a good job. Another English voiceover. Um, I mean, dang, I feel like I gave y'all three international well a letter from the king's more american but i gave you two different international type uh you know a movie and a show and i gave you a letter from the king so i mean check those out let me know what you think i really do believe that you know these shows will probably well the the platform was just a movie and it was a real good movie and i think these other two shows will probably see season two because um, A Letter from the King was, it was decent. And then um, Vampires. I give Vampires uh, a solid. I give Vampires a solid three and a half. Um, I give a solid three and a half. And why do I give three and a half? I like the story. I liked uh, what they were doing with the plot. The acting was, it was cool. You know, it wasn't top notch. But it was cool. You know, you always kind of got to take away a little bit from, you know, when you're watching it in the English over, you're not really watching it in their actual language. So that takes away from it, too. And then on top of that, I do think that, you know, it had a good flow. It took you through the whole the whole vampire life and then the life of a young girl going through these changes. Now, I will say I didn't give it a four or a four and a half because, you know, there's definitely times where I'm watching this and um, it loses me sometimes because some of the characters do some of the dumbest things. Like, for example, like I'm just going to say, like, the, the mom has a lot of kids and they all grow. There's this one brother who's like the sister, but he don't got, like, he's not a hybrid as far as, like, be like a vampire. He's just, he's just human to my understanding. He does a lot of dumb moves in the show that just makes me like I just be like, bro, what the fuck was you thinking? And and there's a lot of other little moves that I be seeing that just don't make sense. They just be dumb. So um, I think that you know a little more character development also could be good. And then also I'm not gonna say who, but they definitely kill a character at the end of the season that was like one of my favorite characters. So I was just like, oh y'all 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 drunk. I'm like y'all drunk, man. Come on. Come on, out of all the characters that could have died, y'all killed him. And he was like one of my, you know, one of the guys I like I liked uh, in, the, in the show. So I was just like, dang, like that's that's kind of sucks. So even if it does come back a season two, like you left, I got to just deal with what's left. But um, I, I do think it still has upside. Netflix does good with these, um, these shows, these, um, you know, these type of shows they have where... They're sci-fi, and then they're mixed with a thriller, and then they, they got a little love plot. And one thing I will say that, that you know, even though, you know, it is a three and a half, and I give it that half because the romance in that show, it wasn't cheesy, it wasn't, like, I could I could believe it, you know, from, because she has, she's kind of pulled between two different type of guys. It's like a vampire guy and a regular guy. You'll see it if you watch it. And her being torn, you can kind of see why she's torn. Now, she makes a questionable decision, but, you know, I ain't judging. <laughs> I ain't judging. So, I will say that Vampires is another good job. So, it gets a three and a half. So, uh, it's officially stamped by your boy, Vinciano Prince. So, all together, we got the platform that has a solid, um, solid, uh, 
four four and a half stars. I believe I said it. Yeah, four and a half stars. And um, then you got the letter from the king that has three and a half stars. And then you got vampires that has three and a half stars. So you got you got you got your tears that you can hit while you watching these shows. And then you can let me know. What you think? You know, like, oh, Vinny, I don't know. Uh, three and a half, that's too low. That's too high. I mean, you got to you gotta let me know. You, gotta, you know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section or uh, hit me up so I know. Also, let me know if you got something you want me to watch for me to review so I can check it out. And then when I check it out, I can come, I can do my video. And then when it's all said and done, you'll have more content out there and you'll have uh, more... Uh, you know, you just have more stuff to, to watch and do in this quarantine because, you know, we all just stuck right now. So that's just me, just motivating me to get more views out, get some more stuff out for you to see. So check those out. Let me know what you, what you how you feel. Um, I'm going to be doing another live stream. Um, I'm thinking possibly tonight. I'm not sure if I don't do it tonight. I'm going to do it uh, tomorrow morning. I'll be doing an Altered Carbon review live stream. I'll be talking about Altered Carbon Season 1. I'll be talking briefly. I'll be talking about Season 2. And then I'll be talking about Altered Carbon Resleeve. So I'll be talking about that. I'll do a review on all of those on the Altered Carbon show. For those who haven't seen it, give you opportunity to understand what it's about. So maybe you'll see it. And I'll give my stars on that. And I'll get that done. Uh, by tomorrow or even tonight, I gotta see how I gotta see how things flow <laughs> as the day goes. Um, you know, I'm not super busy, of course, but I gotta see. Uh, so that's what we got on the agenda. All right, we got Alter Karma coming next. I'm gonna knock those out, and and then after that, um, later on this week, I got a couple of sleeper movies that I want to stamp that I want you to go check out and let me know what's up. Got some higher stars coming your way, so. Uh, it's your boy Vinciano the Prince signing off. Get to the bag podcast, movie and show reviews. Another one. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe to the channel. Check out all my music out right now. Vinciano the Prince and my new video started up on this channel. Vinciano the Prince signing off. And uh, do me a favor. Get to the bag, goddammit! Now.